skiing and snowboarding accidents unfortunately do happen in this kind of area of the country, uh, given the location of the ski hills and how many people go out and ski. Can you receive compensation if you're injured at a ski resort? We're going to talk to lawyer Steve Grover about that on today's Ask the Lawyer. Steve, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Molly. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Hopefully everything is going well in 2023 for you. And right back at you. First off, can you tell us about your experience assisting people who have been seriously hurt by skiing or snowboarding accidents? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, living in Calgary, Alberta, we're about an hour away west of the probably the most gorgeous part of North America, in my opinion. And, you know, there's Banff and there's the big three ski hills in that region of area called Banff. There's Mount Norquay. There's Sunshine Village, and then there's Lake Louise. Um, you know, growing up here in Calgary, not only was I a motorcyclist, but I was an avid skier. And then when snowboarding became popular, I got into snowboarding. Obviously, the painting behind me, we have the Three Sisters Mountain from Canmore. Um, so skiing and snowboarding accidents, unfortunately, do happen in this kind of area of the country, uh, given the location of the ski hills and how many people go out and ski. Can you talk a little bit about some of the main ways you've seen people hurt on the slopes in preventable accidents? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, back in the 80s and 90s when they used to have T-bar uh, lifts, there's a lot of T-bar accidents. Those are product liability claims. I've seen some accidents where ski ski lift chairs have collapsed and people have fallen to, you know, from, from you know, the sky down to onto the ski hill. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes there's erratic skiers that are having fun uh, and they hit an innocent party and unfortunately accidents happen. Um, and, you know, like anything in life, I mean, they're in, in Banff and in the Kananaskis area, also near Calgary, uh, there's a couple ski hills. And unfortunately, when you get a number of people together on a high impact speeding, you know, sporting event that's very enjoyable, unfortunately, accidents do happen and people do get injured. So in Alberta, do ski resort operators have a responsibility to their customers to ensure their safety? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, any of the ski resorts out here, obviously they're running a business. Uh, there is a responsibility on the Occupier's Liability Act to make sure that, you know, the ski lifts are, the ski lift chairs are running properly. Uh, the You know, the, the runs are properly groomed. Um, you know, also, you know, there could be accidents that happen in the ski lodge. If one of, uh, one of the uh, stairwells is broken going, going into the ski lodge and someone falls down and injures him or himself or herself, uh, there obviously could be injuries arising to liability for the ski resorts. So if a person is hurt at a ski resort in Alberta, but it's from, but they're from another part of Canada, where should the case be brought? Well, first of all, living in Calgary and, and knowing that this is probably the best ski area in the world, I recommend everyone come to Alberta and ski in, in Banff. And unfortunately, if you are injured in a, in a ski or snowboard accident in Alberta, I mean, our office um, can gladly represent that person, even if they're from Ontario or Florida. Uh, obviously, you know, if they're injured in Banff or, you know, another ski resort in Alberta, uh, the jurisdiction to sue would be in the province of Alberta. Uh, we do have a lot of out of province and out of country, uh, you know, people we represent. So anyone can gladly, you know, reach out to our office and we can help them in the lawsuit here in Alberta. So, Steve, what advice do you have for skiers, especially experienced ones? Well, generally, I mean, skiing is such a, a great uh, sporting activity. It's a hobby. Uh, I mean, I grew up on skis since I was five years old. Uh, you know, I used to go every weekend out to Banff and ski Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, but, you know, experienced ski, ski, skiers, you know, just be aware of what you're doing. Uh, be aware that there are s beginner uh, snowboarders or skiers out there. You just can't, you know, go crazy and, you know, tuck all the way down the hill and, and then hit somebody. Um, but it, my, my advice is go out and have a fun time. It's a great sport to enjoy. It's a family sport that everyone can go out and enjoy. The weather's, you know, it's out, outdoors. You've got beautiful scenery, especially in and around the Rocky Mountains here near Calgary. Uh, but just be aware of what you're doing. Just ski responsibly. And and the other thing is don't ski and, and uh, drink. You know, if you go into the lodge and you want a beer, don't have three or four beers because you have to be cognizant of what you're doing, uh, especially skiing or snowboarding. 
All right, Steve, you've teased us with the skiing and snowboarding there. So now we're just waiting on our invite. Okay, thanks. Well, anytime you're up in Banff, let us know and we'll gladly show you the ski resorts up here in, in Banff and you'll have a great time up here. All right. Thanks for joining us. It's nice to see you. That's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Steve Grover. If you want to ask him about your situation, call the number on the screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Molly Hendrickson for Ask the Lawyers.